Hello friend, uh, we will learn uh, to code obstacle avoidance robotic. So this is based on Arduino you know, or you can use any uh, Uno family based microcontroller. Arduino mini, Arduino micro, Arduino nano, Arduino mega, anything you can use. So let's go through the code, how the code has been designed. I assume that you know how to uh, use Arduino uh, family microcontrollers. So and basic uh, coding idea so if we go through the uh, program uh, including couple of header libraries servo to control servo ultrasonic uh, then to control lcd uh, screens and some few other library for compilation purpose and we are defining here uh, trigger pin eco pin to use the other range sensor and to use servo pins uh, and define servo pins for using servo motors and we are using uh, 7, 8 and 9 uh, to use display, LCD display. Uh, pin uh, 5, 6, 4, 3 are used for driving the motor. Uh, this pin will be the input to uh, the motor drivers. A couple of uh, here the functions declarations and some basic uh, variables. And there is an array for uh, storing the distance, previous uh, distances few previous distances, around four or five distances are used. You can use any number of uh, array. Uh, uh, this array, one array will store the front distance, uh, another array will store left distances, and another array will, uh, array will dis uh, store right distances. So let's go through the program. Um, using direct uh, port manipulations to uh, declare the variable, uh, the pin in output mode, uh, this, uh, if you are not sure how to use uh, the port uh, manipulation uh, commands, you can directly use in pin mode uh, for uh, declaring the, the in pin in, uh, in input mode or output mode. Uh, this, this is servo uh, uh, initial uh, dec uh, state declaration for placing the servo head in 90 degree, 0 degree or 180 degree uh, angle. This will control the ultrasonic sensor uh, uh, direction for reading a particular distances in any direction, front, left or right. Then we have a couple of initial display on LCD screens. At the beginning, uh, the, when the loop starts, it gets the distance. It reads uh, left, right and front distances. It stores those distances. Uh, it is storing, always storing, in my case, storing uh, first three distances and keep uh, uh, scrolling back those distances and then is setting the uh, checking there is a decision here and to which direction the robot should go based on certain condition will go through that part and then robot moves here so let's see how the uh, distance calculation is done uh, initially uh, when the servo uh, points to the front the ultrasonic sensor reads the front distance and then after a delay it reads uh, left part and right part uh, this entire things and at the same time it is displaying all three distances left right and front distance on a LCD screen so that you can check it and at the same time it helps in debugging i am not using this uh, uh, another function for calculating the distance for measuring the distances uh, that was planned to use for some other purpose which i didn't use Once the distance uh, calculation and measurements are done, we are storing this distance. This is front distance, and there is a scroll here. Uh, if the the array is full, uh, it uh, moves. Uh, it uh, uh, what it does is uh, the entire distances are uh, shifted towards uh, the beginning of the array, so that uh, you at the last uh, location of the array is always uh, storing the latest distances. And this is for the right distances and this is another for left distances so front left and right distances are stored here so we always have three latest uh, distance once the distance is stored it's setting the direction in which the robot should move so this is that uh, part here it checks uh, uh, checking uh, all first three distances for left right and front distances if, if this uh, 
all these distances fall within a certain range like very minimal uh, differences like the distance suppose 1 1.2 uh, or 1.9 uh, uh, kind of uh, range is assume that uh, the robo is stuck in a uh, kind of uh, very narrow range and is moves backward depending on uh, which part is more left distances or right distances it moves backward and wherever there is a, uh, a space here little bit space is moves turns back in that direction so it checks whether the left part is has got more distances or right part has more distances and it moves backward accordingly and take a turn then uh, for another condition it checks if the front distances is uh, less than the maximum distance maximum distance uh, i'm setting here uh, so the obstruction is uh, initially uh, default distances for minimum distance required to move forward is 50 cm so if it is less than 50 cm then what it does is it's uh, uh, setting certain condition we'll see that part later and then we'll go th uh, through that part uh, condition here so this is for that part here and then it checks here the front distances or else the front distances is less than uh, the minimum distances required to move forward within that range it checks whether the left part is more or right part is more so this is according setting some flag here we'll see that condition also at, at a later part of the code so when this channel one channel one says that we still have channel one channel one is a default default says that it uh, uh, none of the condition was satisfied so assume that we have plenty of space in front left and right everywhere and we can move forward so it moves forward channel 2 so let's see what is channel 2 says here channel 2 says that uh, front distances was less than uh, the maximum distance required to move at the uh, uh, to front and says that it checks whether left left is greater than right or right is greater than uh, uh, left accordingly it uh, is takes a left turn or right turn so it uh, steps back a little bit steps back and then turn right and move forward so that way it does so it stuck here but it same time it checks whether left is more or left has got some distance or right has more uh, distances and accordingly it takes the turn here so if you see this code it will be clear based on that as well. so channel 2 uh, flag 2 or flag 3 so this is that part here and then it checks channel 6 what is channel 6 here says channel 6 that uh, we don't have any space anywhere left part right part or front part so what it is doing here it says that if none of the uh, area tie uh, side has any distance uh, space left then we cannot move so what we're doing is it's moving little bit backward and taking a u-turn and then moves uh, basically it's reversing actually to 180 degree and then it moves forward what is channel 5 says channel 5 says that if the other two conditions are not satisfied, then it's uh, doing move forward condition here. So that is uh, similar to within the embedded uh, condition. So this is uh, the entire thing. Uh, so if, if you are planning to design this, you initially take up a very small, a very simple condition and let the uh, obstacle robot run, uh, do its job. And accordingly, you start checking the condition, like how to check if it's stuck in a uh, narrow lane or if it's, uh, there is no space on the right side or left side then accordingly you check uh, which part is more or less and what is the default uh, distance required in the front before it moves backward or reverses so accordingly even uh, so uh, by going through that part you'll be able to relate uh, uh, your logic with what i have coded so once this is done you keep on uh, retuning the code and that should take care of everything so this is just the one way of coding there are ma many way uh, probably i'll not say 100 but there will be many many ways to code in this program but you, you have to keep on retuning uh, the code this is the entire thing and let's see how the forward backward uh, things works what i have done is initially when i started coding i i used directly pin manipulation commands like high low to set the driver and run the motor but later I wanted to use the port manipulation so I'm directly using port manipulation command uh, to set the pin high or low initially to drive the motor in forward direction or backward direction and later 
after running for a couple of uh, millisecond or uh, second i'm resetting the pin to uh, zero so this is the entire two lines so instead of those eight lines i'm just uh, uh, controlling the entire thing by just by using two commands so this is port manipulation command so this is a nice thing to learn new things same thing for backward direction turning left here also directly two pin uh, commands two functions that will take care of entire thing direct port manipulation commands so you have to check which family of arduino uh, you are using and based on that you have to identify uh, that particular pin and under which port it falls the b c d ports so based on those you have to directly use this is pin uh, 0 0 under family of port d uh, register d here so 0 1 2 3 4 so this is eight total eight pins here so you have to see which number of pin uh, the digital pin falls in that uh, port D. Uh, after that, you'll be able to manipulate the, uh, the pin, uh, set the pin to high uh, mode or low mode. This is turning right uh, command. Just two two lines will take care of this entire coding part here. This turning left here. Uh, there are uh, this. I mean, you'll be seeing multiple left uh, uh, function or right uh, function. So that I did uh, because uh, the delay uh, timing is different so based on that i'm trying to tune the robot to either to uh, move backward a little bit or extra uh, turning or less turning kind of thing so uh, when you are designing this uh, obstacle one is could be using a, uh, a probably a stepper motor that also will be good uh, or we can use encoder motor but i think uh, a stepper motor would be a good uh, pick for this kind of uh, projects this is stepping back, uh, so this is like reversing and then uh, staying and then multiple commands. So then take a reverse and then turning left or right based on the initial setting and uh, either you total turn 180 degree or move backward and then turn I just half left or half right. So this is the entire code. Hope uh, this helps. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching this code. If you like it, please give a thumbs up.